Uh, today we we're going probably about three boxes um, for today and it's on an estate um, today I'm these three boxes I, I, I haven't shot um, for uh, a couple of months so I'm starting to feed them now ready for the winter uh, today I'll be put in mixed grain and probably a fortnight um, I'll put mixed grain um, scented for about a fortnight and then probably mid-November I use a mixture of uh, monkey nuts, peanuts, some flower seeds um, and, and, and only peanuts and, and they, they love them you know they, they they draw them in from miles around um, so I've researched it quite a bit and I've been doing this now for quite a few years and monkey nuts they love monkey nuts um, that they just go nuts from monkey nuts and you can go away you can see them grab a monkey nut take it away store it come back store it um, peanuts they're the second best thing and uh, so yeah um, that's what I want to do now and um, getting a bit prepped now now in November hi guys I'm, I'm at the feed boxes at the moment um, like I've said I I'm just topping up about three boxes and I've also want to put uh, another box in and um, so yeah so stay tuned and uh, we'll crack on I just had a look at this one and uh, I'm basically just fill this one up I shot this one on Sunday I had two of them but there was quite a few actually in the trees and uh, yeah a lot of the mixed corn have been the the mixed corn I, I'm using on this one is it's scented it's got like mint and I'll be using that now until probably November and then going on to my second mixture which is going to be which well I'll show you later on uh, which is going to be uh, monkey nuts peanuts sunflower seeds etc etc and um, yeah so that's <laughs> yeah that's the mixed corn scented so I, I usually put that from October till about November December and if I got less lot let over I actually probably put it mix it in my, my peanuts in January uh, this two bags these are uh, mixed corn but none scented these ones I use uh, for the ground ground stations for the ground feeders um, throughout the summer months so it's very cheap and um, so it's just keep them feeding through the summer months and uh, yeah so that's what happened anyway I'm gonna take over I'm going over to the other side of the estate called Perrystone and um, we'll look at the other two boxes when we get there uh, we are at a wood called Perrystone. Just checking on the box. Checking on the hide. It's a quite simple affair, and uh, but it uh, serves a purpose and it works well. And for very little cost. Paid for about what 
six quid for the cam net. There's a little bird. Uh, this one, if you can you can tell um, that is um, is a mixed corn, uh, but not scented, and you can tell it by the colour as well. So yeah, so that's still going on at the moment. I think that I took that up um, maybe six days ago, and uh, so yeah, so at the moment. It's not been used much, but that will change. That will change. Come November, December. Right, we're going to take uh, a ride round to the other side of the wood and and have a look at the other one. Uh, right, guys. Um, just a quick update for people who just been coming on to the channel recently um, and thinking, crying out loud, mate, you know, what's this moron? He can't even speak properly, you know. Um, uh, but it, it, it's not that. I, I had a brainstorm and, uh, and basically it left me uh, with, um, I couldn't speak properly. Uh, in fact, I couldn't speak at all. And uh, so... so it, my speech is coming back and um yeah it's it's it can happen to everybody you know uh, i didn't expect it to happen to me um because i might be overweight but i, I i'm quite fit really i'm, I'm outdoors ev every day and i was shooting every day and but yeah and uh i had a stroke so yeah a bit, bit of a shocker Any, anyway uh, Bear that in mind, and um, please have a bit of sympathy for me, where I, my, my mind says something where I want to talk about it, and my mouth doesn't, it doesn't work, and sometimes I want to say something, then I pause, and I think, oh shit, I, I can't say it, all right, I've got to say something else, you know, and uh, it's frustrating for me, and it's frustrating for you as well, and, um, but it's getting better, so, so, yeah, so please bear with it and um yeah uh, they 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 say I'll, I'll probably only get about 70 um 80 percent of my speech back but uh i don't care at the end of the day uh, i've got everything else and i can get out in the woods and do my shooting do my conservation and um yeah uh, and i absolutely love it so bear in me bear in mind um for, from future episodes and uh, it'll only get better so anyway take care and uh, we'll now go up to the other side of the estate Get through this.
<laughs> uh, you've got to be live. Right, we're at the other end of the estate now. This side, they've been doing a lot of pheasant shoots over the years, um, but this year uh, we haven't got any at the moment and due to the fact that there was a shortage of birds to import from France and to be raised and let loose ready for the season now. And uh, so yeah, kind of bird flu or something. So anyway, so it'll probably be next year now. Beautiful part of the country. I think it's been, I'm privileged really because it's, this estate is it's situated on the Y Valley and uh, yeah, absolutely lovely. And it'll, it's the blue thing up the top there. That's the feed box and the maize. It's called it the maize field because they used to grow maize, and we haven't we haven't done it now for about two years. Yeah, that looks all right. <laughs> Uh, this forest, which we're just going to go through now, um, about 2,000 acres. Um, I, I think I've said it before that it's been split in the centre for for, the, for a road, and it's basically on on the valley, half of it, and then you've got the Y Valley um, and river to the left hand side of it, and uh, it skirts around half of the half of the forest. So anyway, now what we've got to do, we're going to, I'll just pause you and then got a bit of track to get through and then we'll make our way up to the, where we're going to put the other feed box. the road which we it splits in half this is um, a public footpath as well which uh, a lot of ramblers actually go through don't worry <laughs> Pain in the ass, really, but um, yeah, but they got the, they got their right to do it. But they only allowed that path that they can't go either left or right of it. Right, this is where I'm going to put a feed box outside this clearing. On you somewhere. Just pause you. Right, that's the 
That's the feed box. We're going to be putting it in. That's um, for FAC air rifles. Yeah, you can buy them on the web. Um, the last, last time we purchased, they were about 40 yard pound, I think. And um, yeah, so just get on the web and uh, yeah, really good. Uh, we got stacks of them, absolutely stacks of them. Anyway, right, so I, I don't want to bore you by putting it up. I'll put it up and um, I'll tell you where I put it, show you where I put it and why I put it there. Anyway, I'll come back to you later. Uh, I picked this side. Um, there's a lot of natural food, hazelnuts. They got a hell of a lot of oak trees. Um, you can look here. Yep. It's far off the beaten track. Massive great oak. There's oak all over the place. Hazelnuts, everything. Yeah, love it. So, if, if you want squirrels, you've got to pick the book, the right, the right environment, and um, and this basically is the, the right environment for them, for feeds, trees, undergrowth. All right, I, I put it up there. Um, I use a lot of my feed boxes up high in the trees um, so that the deer can't get at it. Um, I usually hook the line from between the other other branches and which gives it support for the box and the weight and so it doesn't drag and um, yeah. I'll be shooting that from where my car is or just slightly forward where my car is from my vehicle and, and maybe I can put a hide in that area there if need be. Anyway, um, that's, that's my tree feeder. They so just go past into the other side of the forest again um, because we're looking at putting another feed box not today um, but in the coming days so because we've got a new plantation of oak the other side so we'll um, looking at putting another box on that side because there's they've got them there's not any shoots this side oh god my speech mate anyway right I'll pause this tape
Right, uh, we're gonna be put on another box over here over the coming days. The old seat there. As you can see, there's massive new plantations of oak and spruce. And so we need to protect that um, from the grey menace. So, yeah. So we're looking at probably a boxing. up there or down in that corner there anyway guys um, anyway guys um, I'm glad you've been with me for the last 20 minutes or half an hour um, uh, just show you what one of the things I do in the day and um, and also the the feed boxes um, which we um, well be some of the feed boxes um, which we're going to be shooting throughout the winter months um, I will take you either at the end of the week into a, another area of the state where there's other feed boxes and show you what they are like and and why we put them there as well and um, and we will be shooting those um, in the winter so yeah so bear with me and uh i'll try and make it interesting as possible um but uh please don't please ignore my speech <laughs> yeah bloody hell mate yeah i my missus yeah she says that it's no different <laughs> anyway anyway guys listen be safe in this troubled world and um, happy hunting, faith walking family.